a lot of fun with it. We create mood boards every month and then we on we alternate creating the mood boards and then everybody takes that mood board and we create art with it whatever we're inspired to do so I um, have been working in here this is sort of my journal where I do some art for therapy's sake and uh, honestly that's you know I've discovered over my um, journey of learning about art and mixed media that that's what my art is about and for my creativity is my way of self-help and therapy so I'm okay with that this month the mood board was created by myself and I titled it leaping forward and all these pretty nature inspired colors and images um, I am going to glue this here and then we're going to see what we do on the other side. I have this bag of, I'm a coffee drinker, but I'm also a tea drinker and I like Yogi tea. I like their flavors, but also their tea bag tags always have something, um, some sort of positive affirmation thing on the back of the tea bag tag, sort of like a fortune cookie. Um, so I have a whole bag of them and a few other miscellaneous bits and pieces, including some washi tape. So um, let's get this glued down and then let's see what we can do and I'll be back. Okay, had to grab some glue. <coughs> so the first thing we'll do is glue this on the opposite page. If you want a copy of the mood board and you want to see what the other teachers do, go join our Trio's Facebook group. Um, I will also link the other teachers' videos in the video description, description along with the Facebook group. So, go do that. I think you will really enjoy it. Okay. So, I have a couple of images. I also have this box of like skeleton leaves. And there are some greens in the mood board. I have a green one. If I can get it out. Oops. Ripped it. That's okay. Have to just kind of arrange things on the paper. Now this background image is stamped with Art Foamy stamps. I do have some designs over at Art Foamies. And I have also designs at Rubber Moon Stamps. So both of those are linked in the video description. Um, it's a great way to get some interesting designs, not just mine, but they have a lot of other really great designers on both sites. Um, but also if you do buy my designs, it's a great way to support the free content here on YouTube if you don't want to join Patreon. So that being said, um, I think I'm leaning towards this image rather than this one. Although... I don't know. There's something about that clustered like that that speaks to me. So that might be what we have to do. All right. So glue stick. I'd usually do glue stick. Um, I find it easy, quick. I haven't had a problem with it coming off. I know some people are like, yeah, I, the glue stick doesn't, doesn't work for me. It doesn't stay. I've um, been using it for quite a while now and it I haven't had a problem with it. Okay. Oops. Now, usually what I do is put the lid back on the glue and then do this. push everything down. Okay. Washi tape. Um, I really want to do this one, which says something on it. Sunny state of mind, I think it says. I don't, yeah, sunny state of mind. I don't know where I got this from. I've had it a long time. Oopsie. And that's probably why I don't use it too much, because it's one of those tapes that 
doesn't want to come off cleanly. I really just need to go through my washi tape and get rid of all those ones that make me crazy. Let's see. From what I'm remembering now, it does this all the time, even when it was brand new. See? Okay, time for a new one. Let's do this one. See, that one comes off really cleanly, and this one is older than the other one. Okay. Let's grab some colors. I think those two. Let me grab a paintbrush. Okay, I'll shake these up a little bit. And we're just gonna use whatever paints in the lid. Your artwork doesn't have to be complicated. It can be easy. This is very this is very easy and it's expressing what I want it to. What is that exactly? I'm not sure yet. I'm just going by how I'm feeling about the mood board and what I want to express on my page today. I didn't even wash the brush off all the way. I just wiped it off on a paper towel. Your art doesn't have to be complicated, doesn't have to be difficult, and also doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to express who you are and what you want it to say. And I want you all to do that. And create art that makes you happy. Okay, let's get that off. Oops over there. All right, let's get out these little tea bag things. One just fell out. What does it say? May all beings be happy. I think that's I think that's a good one right here. There's some stuff going on in my personal life with some extended family and um that's a tad difficult and I think may all beings be happy be is a good thing and it needs to just be right there. Quick Simple, easy, I'll give you a close-up shot. There we go. So it's very quick, very simple, very easy. What do you think? I want to see what you do with this month's mood board and let's see what the other teachers do. Check their links in the video description and go watch their videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and join us over at the RT Trio Facebook group. Most important thing, go out and do something nice for yourself because you do deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.